hello coders i hope you are coding well in the previous video we created jwt auth filter in our spring boot application and in today's video we will update our web security configurations and we will add jwt authentication filter there to authenticate the user and after this we will write the code to check the user role before accessing a particular api and at the end we will create the room entity as well so let's get started so in our spring boot application first of all we need to update web security configuration and for this we will open configs package and in this we will open web security configuration and in this class we need to update our security filter chain method so first of all we will inject jwt authentication filter here so we will write private final and after this we will mention jwt authentication filter and we will name this as jwt authentication filter and after this let's go to the security filter chain and after the permit all we need to add more request matches so we will call dot request matches and here we will add the apis which are related to admin so in the url we will set slash api slash admin slash static static and after this we need to check the role so we will call has any authority and in this we need to pass the admin user role so we will use user role enum and we will import it from hotel server dot enums and after this we will call admin dot name method and after this we need to add the request matcher for the customer related apis so we will write dot request matches and for the url we will set slash api slash customer slash static static and after this we will call has any authority and in this we will again use user role and we will call dot customer dot name and after this to make these apis authenticated instead of permit all we will call any request method and after this we will call dot authenticated and after this we need to set the session management policy so we will call dot session management and after this we will name this as manager and we will write an arrow function and in this we will use this manager and we will call session creation policy and we will set this as stateless and we need to import this from http dot session creation policy dot stateless and after the session management we need to add the filter and we need to pass jwt authentication filter and to do this we will call dot authentication provider and in this we need to pass the authentication provider which we already created so we will mention authentication provider and after this we will call add filter before method and in this we need to pass the jwt auth filter so we will write jwt authentication filter and after this we need to pass the username password authentication filter class so let's mention username password authentication filter dot class and with this the code of web security configuration is completed and now we need to create the room entity so we will right click on this entity package and we will choose new java class and we will name this class as room and after this we will annotate this class with at the rate entity annotation from jakarta dot persistence and after this to get the getters and setters we will annotate this with at the rate data annotation from lombok and then we need to mention the fields of this entity and the first field will be the id so we will write private and the data type of this will be long and we will name this as id and after this to make it a primary key we will annotate this with at the rate id annotation from jakarta dot persistence and after this we need to give the generation logic so we will annotate this with at the rate generated value annotation and we will import it from jakarta dot persistence as well and after this we need to set the strategy and we will give it as generation type dot identity so it can automatically increment one by one on the creation of new record and after the id we need to store the name of the room so we will write private and the data type of this will be string and we will name this as name and after this we need to store the room type so we will write private and after this we will mention string and we will name this as type 
and after the type we need to store the price so we will write private and the data type of this will be long and we will name this as price and after the price we need to set the availability so we will write private and the data type of this will be boolean and we will name this as available and with this our room entity is completed now let's run our application and as you can see our application is up on port 8080 without any errors and in the logs we can see that one sql query got executed which is create table room and that's it for today's video in the next video we will create the other file structure for this room entity like repository and dto and after this we will create post room api call in our spring boot application